Hey, nerdlings! What up, nerdlings? All right, another fun little press interview that we got to partake in at VisionCon 2019 was with the ever lovely Dana Powell. She's a really awesome Springfield native, most known for playing Pamron Tucker, Cameron Tucker's sister on Modern Family. Oh. <laughs> well, my name is Tom, and this is my wife, Lacey, and we have a YouTube channel called Do You Nerd? <gasps> I love it. Do you want me to say that I'm from here? I guess on YouTube, oh, you were on that. Oh, that's fine. Okay. We, we have Springfield pride. Yeah. We're, we're fine with that. Okay, okay. <laughs> Do you want me to do that real quick then? If you wouldn't mind, sure. thank you. Where's your... right there? Yeah, got it. Okay. Hi, my name is Dana Powell. I play Pamela Tucker on Modern Family, and I am a Springfield, Missouri hometown girl, and happy to be here at VisionCon 2019. Well, I, I was listening in, and I did hear a lot of people talking to you about cashew chicken. Yes. So, obviously, that's one of the first things that you go for when you come back to Springfield? Yes. And I'm not picky about where I go. I know some people here in town have their spots. Oh, really? I'm not. So. I just because I don't have it where I am, so all of it's good to me. <laughs> now we have heard um, out west there is a dish called cashew chicken, but it's very different. It from is. Here. It is. You can. It's not uh, deep fried, and they put. I always have to ask for no vegetables because they put weird things I don't want to eat in it. Oh, okay. You know, I'm from here. I'm a meat and potatoes right. girl. Yeah. I don't want white watercress chips and my cashew chicken no oh, thank you <laughs> that's not how i was raised <laughs> so you're saying you've had both but yes. ours is the best oh hands down hands down that's that's what we like to hear yes <laughs> um so how long has it been since you've been back to Springfield, or do you manage to visit occasionally? Yeah, I try to come back, you know, at least two or three times a year. My entire family still lives here, so okay. I come back to visit family quite often. In fact, I was just here a few weeks ago, oh, nice. um, so it's nice to be back again. But this is, uh, you know, they always say home is where your heart is, and my heart's definitely here. So even though L.A. has become my physical home, and I certainly love living there, my family and my love is here. So. Awesome. Yeah. Very awesome to hear. So, but you still enjoy what you do and working so far away from home, I guess. I do. That's the only bad part of what I do is that my family is not here. But everything else, I love it. I love it. Cal Southern California is just beautiful. You can get snow, you can get beach, you can get whatever you want all within a few hour radius. It's kind of heavenly. <laughs> And, of course, you're probably best known for your time on Modern Family. Mm -hmm. uh, what has that experience been like? It's been one of the best things I've ever experienced because it's been over such a long time that I've gotten to see these kids grow up. I've gotten to see people. My good friend Eric Stone Street has just become massive. I remember the first time he won an Emmy. Uh, at the time, I had a broken arm, and my grandmother came from Springfield to live with me for a while while my husband was working on a film out in Boston. And I just remember us jumping off the couch, and I just started crying because we were so excited for him the first time he won an Emmy. And, of course, now he has two. Uh, and the show has, I don't know, 12. So, But it's been such a great experience to see something that huge and iconic happen over such a long period of time and to be a big part of that is insane it's special I, I don't know that that happens for everybody in their career so I feel very lucky now compared to that is there anything else that you've done that comes close to that or is that yeah more every stand out? each job has its own things like the people that you meet and the memories that you make you know working uh, with George went from cheers like child Dana's head just exploded you know you you meet people that when I lived here and you watch TV I was obsessed with entertainment tonight and all these things but it was a dream world and out there it's your reality and you meet these people and they're just people like you and I but they're iconic in your memories right <laughs> so it's a little bit of a crazy when worlds collide one that's pretend and one that's real and now that's the world I live in so I'm, I'm pretty lucky on that note has there been anybody that you've had maybe a total fangirl moment when you got to meet them yeah uh, I try to keep it pretty cool uh, when I worked on Veep, uh, Julia Louis-Dreyfus at the end, when, when I was wrapped, 
uh, somebody took a picture with her and she goes, Dana, do you want a picture with me? And of course I did, but I get weird about asking people because you're at your job. So I don't want to be like, can I have a picture with you? Uh, but she offered, so I took it. Awesome. <laughs> and then another time, Harrison Ford was shooting a movie on Hollywood Boulevard. And my husband said, Harrison Ford's right beside you. And I go, where? And I put my hands on the window and turned and it was his rear was right there on the, was right there at the window. So it looked like I was trying to grab him. Uh, but it was a good moment. <laughs> that's, that's her story. <laughs> my husband was in the car. That makes it okay. <laughs> um, and then uh, I thought you had a question earlier. How did you get from Springfield to uh, yeah. Like what made you decide to go out there and do that? It's it's interesting what got me out to Los Angeles was a boy. Uh, and I wouldn't advise people just to follow boys around the world. Um, but I was going to MSU for theater. I thought I would never move to Los Angeles. It seemed like a place for beautiful people <laughs> only. Um, and I was going to do more theater. And my uh, now husband, at the time boyfriend, someone that he knew and went to high school with who was in theater, passed away suddenly, had a heart attack, touring with Les Mis. And he said he was doing what he wanted to do. He was living his dream. We're still here. We got to go. And in fact, I'm going in 30 days, and I really hope you want to go with me. So 30 days later, we packed what we could fit in our car, and we were gone. Oh, wow. I had never been away from home more than seven days. Never been away from my parents. Never been to California. It was a real risk. I, I took a jump off a cliff, but I think it paid off. That's incredible. Yeah. I, I don't. At this age, I look back and go, "How did I do that? I would, that was crazy." But I was young. <laughs> well, that is awesome. Yeah. Well, I won't hold you up any longer. Okay. You guys have any questions? All good. All okay. good. Oh, good, good. He might not love it. He might be like, "Oh boy." Well, because <laughs> he couldn't see me. <laughs> I was behind him. <laughs> well, thank you so much thank for talking you. to us and taking the time out for us. I really appreciate I'm it. I'm going to check you guys out. Too. Oh, please do. Yeah, yeah. And we really hope you have a great time at Vision Con. Thank you. Well, thanks again so much. Thanks. So she is super fun. She's super bubbly. She's all, you know, I just, we had a blast talking to her. Um, she's got about 50 to 51 titles under her belt. I mean, she's doing pretty good for a Springfield girl. <laughs> I mean, I don't think I could ever get out there. But uh, she's most known for for Brett being uh, flight attendant Claire in The Bridesmaids, and uh, like I said before, Pam and Tucker from Modern Family, and uh, Battle Creek, she played Melinda, but just a few other really quick things that she was in that you might know her from is The Good Place as Paula, or The Office, she played Megan, Bob's Burgers, she played Karen, she was in two episodes of Two Broke Girls named Shannon, and Curb Your Enthusiasm, she played Claudia. So those are just a few of the many titles that she's so been she's in. So she's all over the place. She is all over the Holy place. Holy cow. And of course, like she said before the interview, a Springfield native. So that was very awesome. It was fun to talk to. And as you saw in the interview, first thing we had to ask her was about cashew chicken. Springfield yeah, style Springfield cashew style, chicken. Springfield style, the best. Because if you're in <laughs> Springfield, you love your Springfield style cashew chicken. We know there's other types of cashew chicken out there, but it's not Springfield style. Yeah. You don't want it. It's like <laughs> it's like when you go somewhere on the East Coast to get a Philly. No, you don't do that. <laughs> but, of course, that was the first thing we had to ask her because, you know, Springfield pride. <laughs> yeah. One of the things I don't think we actually got it on camera that I really enjoyed was... Um, I, we were standing by the door when she came in and she looked she came in and gave me a you know a big old smile or whatever but she said when she sat down she goes i saw you when i walked in and i was like oh that's my girl and she's like you've got the red hair you're all bubbly and she goes well i even think we look alike so she's like are, are we even related and i was like mm, you're from springfield possibly who knows <laughs> you know so it's like i was like yeah we're I'm your girl. You're my girl. It was awesome. So, you know, she was she was a lot of fun to talk to, too. She was. And, you know, it may have been uh, being a Springfield native, yeah. but she was super easy to talk to, very personable, and, you know, that, that just really made it all the much easier for us since we're still very new at the interviewing thing. Yes, there's a lot of things that we don't think to ask or we think to ask, but then in the moment we get nervous and we forget to ask. <laughs> now, just a quick note, uh, we actually had some people there that are around the area as well, and they wanted to record the 
uh, interview that we had going on with him and we we're like yeah sure time was getting short at this mm -hmm. point so we kind of had to wrap things up but uh, you know we tried to make sure that if they had any questions they got those in there I think that I think that between us and Dana <laughs> we kind of covered everything yeah. so it was it was just you know really cool kind of working together with other content creators and everything and getting to talk to her yeah she was so sweet yeah i really look forward to seeing the more stuff that she does i think she was she couldn't give any too many spoilers away but she did say that she will be on the, the final season of <laughs> of uh modern family so it'll be interesting to see where her character goes all right well again nerdlings we would love if you would let us know in the comments below anything that you have to say about Miss Dana Powell and uh, any of her fantastic mm -hmm. roles. If you like any of those movies and TV shows, maybe something that you particularly remember her from. And uh, hit the like button, hit the bell, subscribe, all that stuff. You better be doing that stuff because there's tons of more Vision Con content coming your way. Don't forget to like us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram so that you can be alerted to all the comings of Vision Gone. And don't forget to hit us up over there on Tee Public and get our merch because we'd love to see you in our shirts. And nerdlings, if we like it, we nerd it.